So I'm finally back. I have settled down in my new apartment. It feels so great to be back here on YouTube as well. And while I was away, of course, Riot released a completely new video. And we're gonna watch it. Uh, you probably have already have seen it because it's been released for almost a week now, but I didn't have internet until now. And when I saw this, I was like, I need to watch it because this is Annie's origin story. And she's one of these characters obviously, I don't actually know a shit about. Not lore-wise. I know, of course, she have her t uh, Teddy Tibbers that she, you know, Flash Tibbers and uh, all that. And I actually do enjoy playing her as support once in a while because uh, her, her passive ability is pretty freaking brutal. If they haven't changed her, of course. I don't know if they have done that. I haven't played League of Legends for quite a while. And even the longer times since I played as Annie. So without further ado, let's jump right into this because I'm honestly really, really curious on. Seriously, this they looks great. Okay, that's that doesn't look too good. I mean, this style is. It's like moving watercolors, you know? Why, Annie? Uh -huh. Did she use her ulti? No, what? Surprise! Okay... Wait, is she adopted? Because considering that woman is blonde and... When you see that kind of thing, you usually remove the kid because it's <laughs> kind of creepy, you know? Keepers is not. Yeah, da. Ay, ay. What did you do? She didn't mean to. We'll be playing together before you know it, okay? I promise, Firefly. Well, she is, she is, she is a bit of smug, ain't she? So, it's her father, but remarried because his, her mother died? Is that it? Don't have it, Lulu. Well, that this is pretty dark, seriously. Your daughter's a monster. Ah, yeah. 
Gosh. I have no idea how they have done this, but it looked freaky up. Amazing, but shut up. You took everything. I don't. Oh, I don't think you can do that. I have. Sweet Harris. Seriously, this is this is pretty twisted. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 yo, yo. First of all, I could see this as, as an entire movie, of course. Riot, please make movies. And seeing about her backstory like this is... It's no wonder she is a bit messed up. I mean... I just feel... I, feel, I mean... Many times when we play League of Legends, I don't really think much that she's a little kid and all that, you know? She is a... She is an annoying little thing that summons a big-ass teddy bear that's beating my ass up and all that. But when seeing the lore like this, I mean, she's a little kid, and we do know that kids they don't they don't think as uh, rational as uh, adults do. Then again, lots of adults that don't think like that either. And seeing how this is, and she, I can't just imagine the the trauma that this have caused her, and will forever be there. And I'm still curious, though, about how her powers came to be. Why she have this power about fire? Why she have this teddy bear? I did. I mean, there was something with the images that uh, her stepmother, I guess, found that she stood bet between her father and mother, and it was like oh, that something is from them. And obviously, her father calling her Firefly. So I don't know, maybe it's something that's been passed through, maybe from her mother to her, like, you know, fire power, fire magic. And um, she obviously have no control. And since her mother is not there that can teach her, I guess this happened. Now this is just completely my theory. There's probably already answers for it. I just me tossing it up, but still, I thought this was really, and it kind of reminds me, you know, about this old Stephen King movie, Carrie. I think it was Carrie, at least, you know, a girl that lives, she is being abused left and right, and then awakened 
power of fire and destroy literally with everything. It's, it, it was a very long time I saw it. I need to recheck that. But um, yeah, generally seeing this, it's. I want to play more League of Legends again. I haven't played it in quite a while now, especially since I moved and all that now, and uh, still trying to land on my feet here. But then this was. I mean, it was pretty heavy, actually. I mean, I love the style they used for this. Definitely. I don't know if they used 3D rendering and made it looking like this, or they actually used art, you know, like old Disney, old Disney, old cartoons and things like that. I don't know, but either way, they have made a fantastic job with it, with conveying these very emotions of it. I thought it was fantastic. Honestly, and I would love to see more and I'm so happy they're putting so much effort to make lore for the characters Because I'm such a person. I love lore and interesting things like that I can I can read in deep on it even if it doesn't really matter in gameplay wise or anything like that I find it extremely interesting and fun and giving the a depth to the character I mean before it was literally like oh this guy and or this gal can do this. The lore doesn't make sense. It's literally like, Buh? and then okay. Now I can feel more. How can I say it? Invest more into the characters that that they are and learning more about the world riot of building. I know it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, I think it's doing so much for the game. It's same with Overwatch and all that. I think they have done very great with building a world of this. And the same with League of Legends. And honestly, you know, maybe it's just me, but I would actually just randomly thought that actually love that Riot and Blizzard made a bit of cooperation on making a few skins for League of Legends as, well, you know, a couple of characters appearing as skins in Overwatch and the vice versa. I know that probably won't happen, but it's just a funny idea. I thought it would be actually really cool. Because, I mean, uh, Caitlyn could be a skin for Widowmaker. There's one. And uh, who else do we have? I mean, Winston, a skin for Volibear or Vukan. I don't know. I, I just threw it out of there. I thought it would be super cool. But yes, I will be back with more re reactions, let's plays, and any kind of things actually here. So thank you for watching so far and see you later on and most of all though, have a continued super great day.